Hello chess friends, today I'll share an incredible chess game from chess.com, it features the new Stockfish 17 Beta vs Alpha 019, a 4500 ELO rated game, it's a brilliant game with lots to learn in terms of chess tactics and strategies. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things I started the game with d4, I could go with e4, there's an amazing trick in the Sicilian defense's Nidorf variation, let me show you the variation, knight f3 d6, open Sicilian defense, knight f6 knight c3 to protect the pawn, a6 Nagedorf variation, bishop g5 knight here bishop to c4 to activate the bishop in this diagonal, e6 to block it, castle b5 and we will sacrifice the bishop on e6, takes knight takes pawn to target the queen. Queen Rus knight d5, knight takes knight queen takes knight to target the rook so bishop b7, knight c7 check to trap the king, takes check here it will be checkmated. Not how long, but how well you have lived is the main thing, so back to the position, I played d4 instead of e4 so alpha played f5, dutch defense, instead of playing standard lines c4 or knight f3, I decided to go with funetto attack because my opponent is formidable alpha 0, knight here bishop g2 g6, bishop g7 is coming to activate it on this diagonal, utilizing the move c3 to obstruct the diagonal's influence, knight c6 knight f3 d6 to consider e5, but after castle alpha played e6, rook e1 bishop here and after few moves black played d5, but best was to play h6, this d5 move provide me the e5 square for my knight, c4, capturing the pawn isn't good because knight can retarget it with a tempo, so after castle e6 and after few moves, we have knight d8 to consider c6 and knight to f7 to counter the bishop, we have knight e5, here if you dare to play h6 to kick out the bishop, let me show you the variation, takes takes knight takes g6 to target the rook, so rook moves away, takes takes bishop takes check, bishop to e6, knight f4, bishop takes d5 knight takes d5 and the black position is collapsed, how can you protect your king position? Knight f7 queen to h5, queen g5 check is a threat to target the bishop, so bishop g5 h4, bishop e7 then we will sacrifice the knight on c7, queen takes c7 looks natural but after knight e6, white is threatening to checkmate in just two moves, low rated players like you, might think of saving the queen but after queen g6 queen g7, it will be a checkmate. In order to write about life first you must live it, so back to the position, alpha 0 played c6 to maintain his position, I played f4, locking the bishop in kingside, however the bishop have a very good control in this diagonal, knight here bishop, backs knight enters on e4, three moves later, I captured the knight with my light square bishop, capturing the knight with d-pawn isn't the best move, because the queen can enter to the b3 square, to target this and support this center pawn position. Rook d1 will use this half file, c6 to reposition the queen. Bishop e7 to d6 is an another chess strategy to play, so black played f takes e4, g4 prepares for rook f1 to target the file, while f5 may disrupt the structure, so b5 c5 queen backs knight e7, placing the bishop on e7 strategically dominates the black position, bishop c8 with the idea of playing bishop a6 to get a great outpost after moving these a b pawns, ok king h1 a5 g5, alpha played b4 as his plan to joining the bishop in d3. Rook g1 bishop a3 knight g4 bishop d3 rook g2 and after couple of moves later I played bishop to d2, knight g1 queen e1 is my future moves to consider, or I can push the h pawn sincerely to break the position, b3 and a3, the position becomes very closed, favoring the light squared bishop's movement, how can I break this after enhancing my position? Queen e7 knight c3 to consider queen e1, getting the h file then double up the rook on g file, queen h4 then knight f6 check to checkmate him on h7 square, if black takes it then after takes, we will sacrifice the rook by capturing the g6 pawn, black's position is dire as the f6 pawn is backed by the queen, confining the black king, so bishop h8 queen g1 h5, playing on Passan isn't the best move because after takes king h7, the pawn becomes an umbrella pawn for black, so knight e5 to target it takes takes knight takes pawn, rook takes g6 rook g8 takes takes and the black position is totally fine, now, the black position holds more advantages, 
back to the position, we have knight f6 check first, takes takes takes, rook takes g6 can fork up your pieces, so in this position we have king g6, bishop e1 to play bishop h4, so queen b7 rook to d1 to capture the pawn, after takes, I'll advance the pawns to unlock the black position, so bishop c2 rook d2 rook to g8, f5. She takes pawn isn't the right move because I can capture the h pawn with a check and I can push the past g pawn, so after e takes f5, we have knight e2 to get the outpost, it will create problems in kingside so rook to e8, knight f4, knight backs and I sacrificed the knight on h5, g takes h5 isn't the best because after takes, king has to run g6 check, king backs rook f2 to target the pawn, so queen d7 to protect it but we will play queen f1, king up to e7, g7, the bishop is trapped so knight to e6. Rook takes f5 and if you capture the pawn to gain freedom, then after bishop h6 check bishop takes bishop, king f7 and bishop h4 will take away freedom from you. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.